and uh, you're in my closet with me. Uh, my closet's very small. My house is kind of a 1950s style house. Um, sorry about if the lighting's weird or anything. I can't touch <laughs> my my tripod right now or it gets really angry at me. I don't really know how to use it. So um, hopefully people join me again on this stream. Hi, hello. Um, I am really trying to just declutter clutter a little bit um, to get some things. You know, I've talked about doing a auction. Um, I just, I have so much stuff that I kind of need to go through it. Um, and I also just recently threw out a feather boa and there are like <laughs> legit feathers all in my closet. It's driving me crazy. So we're trying to just do our best here to make my closet a little better. These are all my scarves. I have so many scarves. It is crazy. And I, these are also feathers. This one's like a pink one and they have a white one here. Um, my cat does come in here. She just does crazy things and it is unfortunate. I try to keep her out of the closet because cats love everything like that <laughs> and not in a good way. So, um, I have this stand over here and I have this thing of different purses that we're going to go through. Um, we'll go through the scarves another day. I have this whole bin of them. I have so many scarves. It's ridiculous. And belts. I have so many belts also. Um, some are really great and some aren't. So I have a couple things here. Um, this I thought was really cool. Does the lighting look weird to you guys? There's like a white thing um, across there, but I think that's probably a little better. Um, I know this one's kind of neat. It's a wallet. Um, and it's magnetic, but it's also like a bag that goes all the way, like goes in this way. Well, I guess this is probably, I don't know what that's for. That's neat. It's very pretty. I never wear it or use it. These are really beautiful. This one is broken here. These are gorgeous. I think they're from India, maybe. And they're just it's very beautiful. Yeah, made in India. It says so inside. I don't remember. I think maybe these were metal beads or something like that. So that these are all the things I'm going to find new homes for. This one, there's one. And so if there's anything else. <laughs> yes, Mike, I did. Um, it's really difficult to have like my tripods. Not very good and or user error. So one or the other. So if anyone's interested in anything for like an auction or anything, let me know. This is really heavy. I think these are glass beads. There is only, there's one missing right here. Um, but it's really pretty and heavy and it's so sweet. Reminds me of kind of a first communion or something. This is like that Whiting and Davis kind of look. Um... And the straps are missing on this one. This one I've used several times. I'm probably, I might actually even throw this one in the garbage. The lame is starting to come off. Mike, you, you should do, you should do more. You have a lot of, a lot of cool stuff to say. Um, so the lame comes off of here. And it's really sad because the, like these kind of bags, are really um, useful and this one's pretty large so it'll hold your cell phone so it's, it's kind of sad that that one's in such a rough shape um because i've worn that to a couple weddings and different things like that this one so these are all the ones that i am um decluttering and then this is like a carpet bag it reminds me of 
Mary Poppins or something. It's hard to open, but there's a neat tag. It's made in Italy exclusively for Eugenie Buschner. There's a little bit of bleeding in the colors and stuff, but some of this stuff I got a long time ago, you know, when I was first starting to um, get into vintage. This my, my friend gave me, so I am most likely going to keep this one. I think there was a chip or something on it, and it's not, it's not vintage. It's got the thing here. But I, I do like it, so. And I, I don't, I don't hold on to things just because somebody gave them to me. I know the girl who gave it to me would also not do that. Just she's kind of a minimalist, so. This I think I might hold on to for spring. I like the colors and the material that it's made out of. And then this is the, so I don't know how old everybody is, but I remember in the 80s, I used to have Barbies that had these purses. And this one's big enough. I think it's kind of big enough for my phone. Um, and it just, it reminds me of the clutch purses that my Barbies had. And so I wanted to keep one of them. So I got that. That's as far as I've went so far. <sighs> yeah, waiting in Davis. And it's leather. So it's leather on the inside. And then like this with the mesh on the outside. So we will keep this one. And this I'm also going to keep... Um... This is something else that I use for weddings. It's made in China, so it's somewhat newer. Um, I must have gotten something on the beads on the front. That's what I was looking at. But again, it's, it's kind of bigger, so it's nice to wear for weddings and things. So that one I'm going to keep. And this... Like I said, we'll go over the belts. I actually just recently got this. It was only $6. And I have to figure out a good way to organize my belts. This is actually Silpata. And it's it's like so soft. So it's, it's leather. So I have to figure out a nice way to store those. Because um, it's really nice. And we're still drinking our Timmy's. All right. I also have these. I thought these were just the weirdest things. And so I like them. I'll try them on for you guys. I think it's leather. I don't think it's real snake skin. Yeah, it's definitely not real snake skin, but... Look at that. And it's like yellow and black. Aren't they the craziest? Um, I don't know when I will need these, but you just, you never know. Yeah, Waiting and Dave, uh, and I know the prices aren't what they used to be. This I will probably also um, put in the donate, sell, whatever pile. This is New York and Company. Um, New York and Company does coach, basically. Um, I used to use this all the time, though, because those are useful, um, especially nowadays you can't always use, like, your big purse when you're going to concerts and stuff. This I will keep. Um, it's got a tag. It is old. Look. Get the tag. It's, it says uh, Mr. Ernest. Handbag ink made in the Philippines. And it's macrame. Amazingness with the wood handles. So this is so nice for a summer. 
Um, but the, so the thing I've noticed and why I'm doing this is because, because I don't, I have too much stuff. I can enjoy making outfits for things like this. Um, and enjoying the things that I have because I just, I have too much and it's everywhere. This one will also go in the, the donate consignment. Um, whatever, friends, family, auction, pile. This is, it's such a gorgeous color. And it's really big actually. Um, these can be nice makeup bags and storage bags and stuff like that too. It's pretty big. I love the colors. It's very pretty. But yeah, like, even if you put makeup or jewelry or something in here, if you were shipping it, it would be nice. Uh -huh. This one also, I think, is going to go. This is naturalizer. I don't know. What do you guys think? I probably don't need to keep it. I don't know if this one's real leather or not, but I do love the bow. You guys know how I feel about my bows. Like, I don't know. So I've been watching, also watching Hoarders. <sighs> it it gives me good motivation to do this. Oh, it is genuine leather made in Brazil. I don't know. So the problem is, I know I won't. I So I have a, it's hard for me because I have a full-time job. And I do YouTube. And I do resell some things when I'm being good. I don't know. I'm going to put this in the yes like keep pile for now and see what happens because i do think this is very me you know i don't know this is so cute oh my goodness and there's stuff inside of here <laughs> well that's probably there is oh that's so funny this is a ticket for Weird Al that I went to with my husband. A lip gloss and a lip liner. <laughs> so apparently I did wear this. Makes me feel a little better. This is from Canada. I think this is also going to go in the sell, donate, whatever pile. It has such a fun color. It's like a bubblegum pink. That's probably why I liked it. This one also is probably going to go. They're so cute. I have so many of these things. So I just I can't keep them all. This I swear I bought myself somewhere. I will most likely keep this one. Because I think I got this on vacation or something and I bought it myself. And again, these are just nice. Put your ID, some money um, in there. This one's going to go. It's New York and Company. I used to be obsessed with New York and Company. I had so much stuff from them. Um, they were my favorite. Favorite. And then another gold lame. I think that's what it's called anyway, right? See how it, like it just starts. But this one's not as bad as the other one, so. Oh my goodness, my, those feathers are really making me, making me sneeze. So that one's going too. You guys, also should I do my hats one day? Probably because I went live and then I didn't go live and then I went live and didn't go live. This one's not the best of condition. This one can go as well. Hey, look, this one's got... I guess that's a lesson for all of us, right? When we're going through these. Make sure... Oh, yeah, this was also from me. This is the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra 2011-2012. I think that was also me. Um, so... I have used this one. It always makes me feel better when I, I'm at least like, all right, I at least didn't like 
least money on it. This one also, I, I don't know. This one's going to, it's really cute. It's tiny. Look at how small it is. And, you know, I should also check with my brother's girlfriend too to see if her daughter might want any of these as well and then I have a whole bunch of these because I did notice um I had a wool scarf in here and I think moss got to it um which is unfortunate because it was beautiful so some of the other things that I was keeping that are over here this is <laughs> so awesome so I think so why I like this so much is because I the whole origin story for six nations has to do with a tree and um turtle island a turtle so it reminds me of that I don't know that it is a lot of these are from Mexico or the Philippines but inside, like this one's just in excellent condition too. So usually these are not. So this is also something I am going to keep. And so like I said, this way, like I can keep stuff that I like a lot. This is leather from Hong Kong. This looks like it could have been made this year with the hand strap. It's leather, black. It's a decent size. Again, this is something I throw on, go to a concert. Um, so I kind of love this vintage stuff that could totally be today. And one of the other ones I'm keeping. So there, I went to a yard sale. This was the only thing that they had that was nice. Um, this I think is, is alligator or crocodile. I don't remember which. Is it? alligators that we have here right not crocodiles um or armadillo i don't know it's got the thing in the back here to hold it and again i i only buy this stuff if it's vintage i also can't afford it for the most part if it's not but this is by yvette york it also had this in here um, with a mirror, which are always so cool that they come with these little mirrors. But I love this. I thought it was so neat. And especially the way that it clips like this. So it's, it's just very, very unique. I'm precarious here. And then there was this one. And I love this bag. Um, hey, Miss Angie. Oh, look, there's more, <laughs> more hair ties, which are nice because my cat also loves playing with hair ties. Um, this one's made in Japan. This is one I do use a decent amount. Um, Depends on what version phone you have. Sometimes they will fit in, sometimes they won't. But I, like, I just, I've gotten a lot of use out of this one. And then I'm going to put some stuff in here because this is a really fun bag. But if it doesn't have stuff in it, it's, like, getting a little bent out of shape. Um, this is a Monet. It's not... I don't think it's water lilies. I don't remember which one it is, but it's like from the Monet Museum. I think. The Van Gogh Museum, I mean. In Amsterdam. So, this is a fun kind of overnight bag. You know, if you were going to spend the night over someone's house or something like that. So that we are keeping just because it's kind of, it's a good size. So I don't have a lot that are that size. 
but we've got a lot away. I should probably also figure out a way to um, do summer bags. Like this one's obviously summer bag or winter bags. All right, I have a decent pile. Look at, oh, <laughs> there's so many feathers in here. I was gonna give that to my friend, but I'm like, I am not gonna curse anyone with feathers everywhere. All right, this is one of my favorites. And again, see, this is the thing. I have too much stuff, and then sometimes you don't store it right, and then gets messed up and I've never really reviewed my handbags with you guys so this is amazing it's also dusty like it's got the V's and then you can see the clip here is also like that and the hand the handles I also have stuff in here. Oh my goodness. I don't even remember. Let's see. We'll find out in a second when I use this because I have stuff in here too. So this is original by Caprice. This one also has a mirror. That's what's in here. And then the inside just looks like this. So I don't... I don't think this one's real leather, but I don't know. But it's just like the style of this is is just kind of impeccable and timeless. So these School of Rock. Yeah, I saw School of Rock here. Um, we used to have season tickets to the theater. Um, one of my friends and her mother and myself. Now this one, there's a little bit here, but otherwise it is in really nice condition. I am a sucker for these bags. Um, this is the Patty Exclusive. I have to fix this one too. Um, it's just like a jump ring that fell off, so it's not a hard fix or anything to make it back into a regular handbag, but, like, that's, the inside's pretty clean, but this is one of those other ones I just think, it's really beautiful. I love these that are, like, real glitter. It's a little bit that is coming off here but like what a new year's eve party bag right i just i think those are really neat i keep it in this because i don't want the glitter to come off on everything <laughs> um this one has gotten a ton of use this is my oh my god cute Inside. It's got the little polka dots. That is my beach bag. I use it every year when we, when Jim's mom rents us the beach house. I think this one's, so this one I have to clean here. It's got beautiful lucite handles. It's not terrible inside. This one's also from Han Hong Kong. Exclu made exclusively for Ritter. It's in the bag is what it says. Um, so it looks like this inside. So it's not terrible. Um, but other than that, having to clean up that little part here. Cute wedding bag. I love these. And nobody else will have what you have. I don't know what this is. Maybe Mike will know. I have zero idea. Let's take the price tag off. Um, dude, I have no idea what this is. 
Like it zips like this. It looks like a hamster. Why I bought this, dude, I, I don't know. I feel like it's for something. On the inside is like wool. Like, what is this for? <laughs> it totally looks like a hamster bag. This is leather. Like, but it also has an inside, inside pocket too. There's no label or anything. Like, Could this possibly be a purse? Like, it is just the craziest thing I've ever seen. I guess if you keep it like this, then you would just put it in there and then look like this. <laughs> like, what is this? Yeah, I don't either. It was like seven or eight dollars, so I bought it. I I have no idea what that is. We're keeping it because I still have no idea what it is. This one's pretty. I'm probably gonna put this one in the donate. Um, here, like it's just it's not in perfect condition, but it's in decent condition. The inside is flawless. Hola, cómo está? Um. So, like, somebody can still love this, I think. Especially somebody who's just getting into vintage. I think those are nice. Alright, this one's Nine West. I can't remember if this one was leather or not. It's, like, really stiff. Ugh. That's the thing about storing some of these. It just says Nine West. It may or may not be leather. I don't know. I can find the label in here. There's at least nothing weird in this one. Sometimes I have found. Huh. I don't know. Keeping this one though too because it's a nice season bag and it's got a nice look to it. Oh my. Actually, I do like these. Hey, Christy. Um, and I will use. I will probably use this. This is a fanny pack. So, and it's got a compass on it. Hopefully I won't need a compass with my fanny pack. However, um, my husband has a leather one. This one's just like a hiking one. But when I'm hiking, I do really like fanny packs because I'm not going to want to uh, use a purse. And you need something to hold your keys. Um, maybe a snack. <sighs> I have a soft spot for these, these cord purses. I know they're not going to show that well. There we go. This one's got black sequins on this side, and this side is pretty plain. The clasp is neat because you pull it down. And inside is pretty perfect. So, I don't know. I, I love these. I don't know. We were doing really well at this. We, well, we've done some. This reminds me of my grandmother. This was so, so her favorite. Beach bag I use all the time. I got that. I don't remember where I got that. But 
like I use it several times a year. So that's probably my use, most used bag other than like the purse I wear every day. So I think this one we're going to put in with the donate or sell or whatever. But I swear my grandmother had this bag. <laughs> it just definitely reminds me of her. I love triangles. Triangles are my favorite shape. Because weird people have favorite shapes. This one I'm keeping. I love this bag. Again, when I'm grabbing something, I have so much stuff and it's so badly organized. I never remember this stuff. This bag is so cool. It's tall. And it's from Styled by Simon, Brit made in British Hong Kong. Look at the color of the gold inside there. <laughs> so fun. Um, and I just, I love this bag. It's just, this is one of those things that's super unique. Who would have this when you go out, you know? No one's gonna have that. This one I'm putting in the donate pile. I've seen some like this at vintage stores. Um, I don't know if there's a name for this. I do like this one better than a lot of the other ones I see because I like the patterns and the colors. Um, I like that lavendery purple. It does have a metal, a metal zipper, and the inside's really nice and clean, actually. But I just, I won't wear this, um, and I know somebody else will. Just because I have so much other stuff, there's, I'm just not probably going to reach for it, you know? Yeah, that's what some of these are for for consignment or friends or auction or whatever. This one I'm gonna keep. This is Avantique made in Italy. And that this is one of those that's a very chocolatey leather. It's a decent size that'll fit my phone. This one's going. I used to love this bag. I used it all the time. I love this print. This was like very 2000s, I think. Do you guys remember it? Like this rosy. Like this is something I bought new that's <laughs> probably now vintage, which I, I am not okay with. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one. I love this one. I have a belt like this, too. Like, ugh. The inside, it's plastic. It's in perfect condition. I just, I love this. I want to have a dress like this. I think that would be fun. Uh, obviously, I have a lot of different things in here of all kinds of different years. I have... <laughs> There's more weird stuff in my bags. These are the ones that I've used because I do have stuff in there. This is St. John's Bay. This is going to... However, this is one of those ones... This is a style that doesn't really go out of style, you know? I just have, this is somewhat similar to the one that I have right now that I use that's coach. I think this is leather. St. John's Bay makes really nice clothing, accessories, and jewelry, I think. Like, sometimes I'll pick something up and I'll look at it and it's St. John's Bay and I'm like, it's so nice. I don't, do they still make things? So... That's what that one looks like. I'm happy we're making progress. 
Uh, I don't know why it's just the, like, nose of a lion. It's another fanny pack. Again, when I, also when you run, it's nice to have a fanny pack. Um, cause I have other things too. <laughs> oh, his eyes are up here. <laughs> There's his nose and his eyes are in here. I actually should probably see if my husband wants that one. We both do like fanny packs. This is in rough, rough shape, but I think I might keep this one. Oh, it's in such rough condition, but it's so unique. So it's leather and has that really nice brass. And there's a penny in it. And the inside is also leather. I don't know. I think there's something about leather that sometimes it still looks nice. I don't know. It's not, it's pretty, pretty beat up. I don't know. I seem to have instant reactions, though, that I can go with. This one's going. However, I don't know why, but... Oh, Christy might tell me, too, but I swear... This is R-A-L-F-E-A-U. Ralph U. Um, so it is vintage with the wooden handles, too. There was something about this pattern the handkerchief pattern that I used to love. But I think this one is a good one for somebody else to have. Really cool bag. Just not really my style. I'm excited. Thank you, guys. This one's also going, but it is also really cool. It's chocolate brown. That's actually not as old, as old as you would think. It's made in China. And another one. See, this is kind of the one that I would like, but these straps are crazy. They're like, they're plastic, but they kind of go along with the bag, but I don't think they were original. But I like the blue and the white, but that one's going. This one probably will too. I think I got this because of this up here. It is in really nice condition and also has the little bag. It's in great condition. These are from the many, many years too, by the way. I've been collecting these for a long time. Also going... Also needs to get fixed. These uh, these things really fail really quickly. I don't know about this one. I kind of like it, even though I shouldn't. But will I wear it? Well, there's sea glass in here for some reason. Don't know why. Um, it is like, looks like upholstery. Maybe it'll go. I will never wear this again. I could see somebody rocking this and making a really neat outfit, though. And it's Velcro. I think it's 90s. Made in China. I think it's 90s. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one I love. Oh, my goodness. This one's also pretty dusty. It opens like that. And there is... Oh, that's right. This one's broken, so I... I might, 
just take this off and then put something else on here because I think I could do that and then just this take off this other part. This one is handmade in Indonesia. It's got a really pretty pattern on the inside. There you go, you can see it that way. I think that's what I'll end up doing with this one because I love the shape and it's just really unique. So we'll just have to fix that one. Oi! Oh, this one's cute. This one's going too, though. The inside is neat. I think there was should be rhinestones there that are not there. But I'm not, I'm not positive. This one I might keep. This is fun for the summer. And it does have, maybe that was the right strap. Because this one has a strap that's kind of like that blue one too. It's so loud. Can you hear it? So it's got this really long white strap. Super fun for the summer. I think this is my daughter's costume. <laughs> I don't even remember what she would have been. I have no idea why that's in here. That's so funny. Ooh, nice mic. Oh, hanger clips. I have hanger clips too that I need to do something with. Um, I don't think this is real. Real leather, I mean. It's real, obviously, it's here. Yeah, I don't know why I have some weird stuff in there. Like my daughter's costumes with my purses. Oh my goodness, I have shoes in there. I had no idea what I had in there. This one's going too. This one's really pretty. It's also perfect on the inside. But as you guys can see, they're not really that special either. Quality inspected by A2. East Fifth. <laughs> Shoes. They're not in very good condition. I mean, they are, but they're not. If that makes any sense. <laughs> why did I... Why did I have these... I'm trying to be selective about shoes, too, of these old Skechers. <sighs> these are cute, but look on the inside. Skechers are kind of cute. We might, might see if I can do something with those. Probably not these. These are cute, but they're not in good good shape. All right. Oh, okay. I have a couple more up here. All right, you guys want to see my favorite thing? This is like belt that my husband has tried to steal from me but I actually love it I wore it I wore it for my birthday um it is this guy 
this is faux leather, um, but it is Mimi Denis, Princess Mimi Denis, um, and this is a great belt. Her um, belts are really nice and sought after. This is also one of mine that I love. It's a uh, Kate Spade and it's just, it's a leather one. The inside's a tiny bit dirty, but it, it's not bad. Um, but this is just like the iconic Kate Spade. It's a real one, it's real leather. Feels very buttery and soft and smooth. Yeah, see, I've been, I don't know why I have this one. I'll probably get rid of this one. I usually only keep only keep uh, leather belts. Oh boy, this is that's how big the pile's getting over here, which is amazing. So I have a couple of these belts too. This is Whiting and Davis. It is marked on the inside right here. And I just, I love this one. Nice Whiting and Davis belt. And this one is as well. I think, yeah, this one's also marked on the inside. My cat has gotten into some of my things, so I try not to. Oh, and this one is, it is not the pla plast Plastiflex, um, I don't remember what it's called. There's another lady online who uh, has a penchant for these, but this I'm certainly keeping. Um, if you see ones like this, um, they can go for a decent amount of money. I think Plastiflex, there's like a brand name that some of these came out as. They're kind of like those telephone cord purses that people have been collecting. The, this one is eel. Genuine eel skin made in Korea. And it feels... I don't know how to describe it. But they do make things out of eel that, that I'm keeping it like that. But this I feel like I should keep to put makeup in. It's a really cute... I love the little birds on here. I have done good though. Keeping this one, this is handmade Mambro original from Hong Kong. And look at how clean the inside is. And it was in really nice condition. Yep, I will take a look, I guess, see if I still have it. I've been um, trying to, it might be in the pile of, of something, so I'll have to find it from the chat. I love these ones that are on by the chain and when they're still in there because it just has the same look as the inside. This one has a name, but after five. 
So I think I will keep this one because I haven't kept most of the gold ones. And then this is awaiting in Davis. And it, it does say so on the inside right here. So obviously I'm keeping this one as in good condition. These feel so nice. This one vintage or new? I feel like this one, I, I don't know. It is made in Hong Kong. This one's very pretty. The color is... Well, I wish it was bigger. <laughs> My closet is very small. So that's why I'm trying to go through some of this stuff. So that I can have it. So this is another one I will keep. I love this one. There's wood on, on the zipper. And it's really clean on the inside. And it's got this as the loop. So that's what this one looks like. I love this one for, for summer. Here's another one. This is the LeMay. But this one is in really good condition. It hasn't started peeling yet, and it's got the glitter on it. And see how nice it is on the outside. And I do keep it in here because glitter. We're almost done, guys. At least this is what I have <laughs> right here. Oh, yeah. come on. Oh. <laughs> he is stuck on something. This one is so fun. Let me see if I can find. I can't tell. Sometimes you can't tell how old or new things are, but you can by the tag. This one's made in China. But like, <laughs> it's so disco. So I'm keeping this one. I love this. And next time we have the disco, is what I should bring. It is metal. Um, and that's what it looks like. So that one's just so fun. This one, probably going to go. I have a couple other ones of these. One of which I used for my wedding. So that one's really cute. Same as this one. This one can go. Look at how beautiful the embroidery is. It's just so pretty. I don't know. Oh, this is Halogen. I don't really know about that brand. If it's anything, Halogen. However, like I said, these are nice for when you go out. So I might, just because it's really nice and plain and black. And I think on the top are all belts. I think we did it. I have a nice pile here of things that I'm gonna donate, consign, sell, do something with, see if some uh, friends or anyone else wants any, um, and a decent pile to put back, 
um, of things that now I remember that I have and I can love them again and put them away nicely. So yeah, next time, let me know what you want to do next time. I have, I have to do belts. I have more <laughs> vintage purses in my craft room. Um, and oh my God, you guys, the hats the hats that I have are just, they're like up both of these. Um, I love hats and I never end up wearing them, but I love them so much. Um, yes, I do have to do, I have to do several auctions. I feel like, um, because I'm trying to downsize so that, like I said, look at how cool these, some of these scarves are. And I never wear them cause I forget. And they're just not easy to find. Like this one's flower power, right? How fun would this be with those enamel flower earrings and such? Um, scarves is something else I have to go through. For the scarves, I usually only keep ones like this one is super duper vintage. Um, I don't know when I'll ever wear this, but you know, it doesn't shed like the other one did. This I love. So sometimes it's like because of a certain, or because they have fringe. <laughs> I'm a sucker for fringe. Um, but I have, I do have to go through those as well. So let me know what you guys think would be the best to do next time. Thank you for um, helping me go through my pile. And I will see you guys very soon.